Welcome back to another adventure in the van and after two weeks full timing, we had to make some changes. Believe it or not, this is New York State. A part of the state very few people hear about unless you're from the region. The Adirondack region is a huge area of mountainous woods, trails, lakes, and places to visit, things to see, and lots to do. Fall is the best time, at least our favorite time to visit. This was our first visit to the Wild Center in Tupper Lake. It's a 115 acre campus of nature areas, a museum, and most famously, the Wild Walk. A treetop trail with a crow's nest, a giant spider web, beautiful views, and lots of educational things to see. There are walking trails, an indoor museum area, lots of wildlife to view, and even a musical outdoor experience in the middle of the woods. It's a lot of fun. These are the screens I use on the van. They're made with just fiberglass or vinyl screening with Gorilla Tape around the outside edge. I was concerned that it might fray apart while using it. There's a few magnets inside the tape that attach to a couple of pieces of metal stuck to the wall inside the van. So I put these plastic rivets in to keep them from coming apart. Things may look a bit chaotic when we're set up, but it's actually pretty organized. Food, clothes, um, miscellaneous, I store the cook stove back here with the chairs, and then we've got all the other stuff in the other videos, cooler, cooler, toilet, battery system, and we added this, we always had what we would call an, an abyss of just junk. And we added this bin that's expandable to hold all the miscellaneous stuff so it doesn't just drop into a hole. What I decided to do was take this, what is a canvas shoe holder I had all the way across the front of the bed frame, was to fold that in half, still accessible from underneath the bed while it's up, but we found it inconvenient to have to open the bed to get to this kitchen box. This is just a little bolt I put together with a spring inside the channel of the 8020. Now we can slide the kitchen box and the food box behind it out from the front without lifting the bed. This basket is attached to the seat rails on the floor with zip ties so it can be removed anytime. That keeps these bins lined up. So here's how I altered the canvas pockets that went all the way across the front of the bed. Basically folded it in half, added a few grommets, and put two strips of aluminum through tops. Bet those tops over so it's pulling two thicknesses to keep the canvas from ripping as easily and most of the weight should be supported by that bar. And then put some Hooks to connect it to the 8020 underneath the front right hand, well, as you're looking at it, right hand, if not left hand, driver's side of the bed. That's for dinner. Well, we're having pork carnitas and roast duck. 
Roast duck? <laughs> Which one? Roast duck, I see. Hmm. Apparently they think dinner is served. The wildlife in the Adirondacks is varied and very interesting and oftentimes quite accessible. These ducks were right at our campsite. Everything from squirrels to bears in this area. The trail system in the Adirondacks is second to none. Lots of very well marked trails, varying in intensity and difficulty. Lots of elevation gain for most of them, some not so much. You can make this area as rural or urban as you'd like. Lake Placid and other towns have plenty of shops and restaurants to visit. One place we like is the Cornell Maple Syrup. The home of some lovable losers. Of course, there's always the Olympic Park area to visit around Lake Placid. Henry's Woods is a community sponsored connection of trails that is maintained by a private foundation in Lake Placid and it is beautiful especially right now in the fall with the fall colors it is just stunning this particular area is located right near Lake Placid some trails and mountains are a bit removed from the populated areas, but there are plenty of state-run campsites to accommodate camping and RVing. Many of these sites located on lakes or ponds. We saw loons in just about every site. The haunting call of a loon is like nothing you'll experience. So why took one him off the island? Right, he was awful. He didn't do anything around camp. I knew I could beat him. Plenty of other wildlife too. Sometimes you have to really look close. Fish Creek Ponds campsite was one of our favorites. Plenty of waterfront sites to wake up to. The mountain trail hiking to me is made a bit easier when there's a payoff at the end, such as a beautiful vista or a clear mountain lake.
Strange how it seems more difficult going up to the top of the hills and much easier coming down. This is the end of September and we hit the leaves pretty much right at peak. The wildlife is everywhere. Watch where you step. She's got her marshmallow stick. Lake Durant is a great campground. Again, many waterfront sites. Belly up to the bar. Chicken with peppers onions and, and peppers. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And later. Water in the bathroom. Lake Durant has nice new showers as well. Sign in as you enter a trail and sign out as you leave. And don't litter. Some of the more popular trails can be a bit busy, but there were quite a few we hiked without seeing more than one or two people. This area also has snowmobile trails. There really is something to be said for perseverance in life. Something can start from just a seedling and create this against all impossible odds. This tree started as a seedling on the top of a rock. All this beauty available with just a short hike from the road. Keep climbing for your peaks and subscribe for more of this in our next video. Thanks for watching. Floodwood Mountain Summit. Good job.
test for the Michelin Agilis Cross Climate Tires.